Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to verify given two strings, are they anagram or not? First, let us try to understand what exactly do you mean by an anagram. An anagram of a string is another string that contains same characters, same frequency, only the order of the characters can be different. Let us see a simple example. Let us take up the word silent, right? And the other word is listen. If we take up these two words or these two strings, if we can just observe, they contain the same alphabet. So if we can just observe here, we have S here, we do have an S here, we do have an I here, then we also have an I here. Then L, same L is also present here, then E, then N and T out here, E, N and T, right? So silent and listen, they are made up of same alphabets, but only the ordering of that alphabets are different. So we can say silent and listen, they are anagrams. The other example is triangle and integral. They also contain the same alphabets, but in different order, right? So our job is to verify given two strings, are they anagram or are they not anagram, right? Now, you can solve this particular problem in various ways. One of the way is you sort both the strings and then you compare the strings. Like for example, if I consider the word silent, you take silent then sort it. Then take listen and then sort it. So if you sort the strings, you can just observe the sorted strings if they are same. It means they are anagram, right? Now if you take up another words which are not anagram, right? Like for example, if I have the word called as Nihad and then another word called as Haider. So on sorting this, I get this particular order A, D, H, I, N and on sorting this Haider, I get D, E, H, I, R. Now when you try to compare the strings, these strings are not equal. So we basically say that they are not anagram. In order to sort the strings, Every language provides you a built-in function. Either you talk about C, C++, as well as Python, right? So we'll try to solve this particular problem by using the built-in function sort, provided with various languages to sort the strings and to compare the strings, right? Okay, let's move into the code. Here is a simple program where I'm trying to read two strings. And after that, I need to sort it. The C library function to sort is QSort. Remember, we really don't need to write our own sorting logic because we do have built-in functions. So we use QSort, right? If you want to know how many arguments to be passed, you can just see the man page of it. The first argument to be passed is basically the array which needs to be sorted. Second one should be the length of the array. How many characters do you have? To calculate the length of this, I'm going to use strlen of the string, right? And then each element is of size one character. This is the size of each element. Since we are going to sort characters of a string, each element is one one byte. Now the fourth one is a comparison function. So we just need to write a comparison function, which basically returns an integer. And then you have to follow this interface like you should have two parameters both are const void star and after that you need to typecast it to character pointers and then dereference it. Remember they are void pointers so they cannot be directly dereferenced so I am going to typecast to character pointers and then dereference it. Now this particular function should return a value 0 if both the inputs have the same value. It has to return positive value if the first input is greater when computed as second and then negative value the first one is lesser when computed as second. There is a separate video on how do we use QSort with various data types. You can watch that for more information. Now once I sort the first string, then I will also try to sort the second string. Right? Only I need to pass this. Uh, I am assuming that both the strings are of the same length. 
in case if the strings are not of the same length you really don't need to go ahead and do even do a sorting and comparison right only if they are same length there is a possibility that it might be a anagram if they are not of the same length then there is no way that they can be an anagram right okay if you want to print the sorted things you can just write okay str1 equal to this right this is for our understanding that okay fine is it really sorting or not people who are not very familiar with um, q sort you can use this and after that once you observe that the strings are really sorted in order to compare we use str cmp right again str cmp returns a value 0 if both the strings are equal right if it returns 0 it means it was an anagram right i'll just write anagram okay and in case if it returns a non zero value i'll say not an anagram right okay now since i'm using this string compare string length i need to include string dot h and since i'm using this q sort i need to include stdlib.h right so let me jump into the compilation process and execute it right i've saved this program by using anagram right Compile it, run it, I'm going to write silent and then right. They are after sorting both are same, it says anagram. Now if I just write hard, okay, right. There's only one character which is differing, N and R, right? You can just see everything else is same, but still says not an anagram. What a simple so we learned two things one is how do we use q sort to sort the characters of a string in c as well as okay uh, we also learned how do we verify if a given uh, two strings are they anagram or not but c is the lengthiest code what you need to write in c language if you jump into other language like c plus plus or python it's much shorter like let me just demonstrate how do we use c plus plus so if you want to use C++, uh, you do have a data type called as string. We'll be using that instead of using this uh, C style strings. We'll be using C++ style strings. String str1, str2. Remember, they are strings. I don't need to create it as an array. Now after that, in order to read this. I'll just be using C in str1. Then here instead of this, I'll just be using C in str2. Done. Now, once you do this, you need to sort. In order to sort, there is a function called a sort whose declaration is present in algorithm header file. Right? We don't require this Q sort. can just use sort we can just pass on str1 dot begin and str1 dot end right okay that's it we want to print the sorted strings we can just write c out str1 and c out str2 Okay, done. Not required. I'm going to remove this. Not required. And in order to compare the strings, we don't require string compare. We just need to compare with the help of equal to sign. Right? That's it. This is my C code. Okay. I don't require string dot h because I'm not using anything about these strings, and I don't even require stdlib dot h. Since I'm using printf, I'll just be using stdio.t. Fine. Now, since it's C, I need to compile with the help of G. C, file name is same. Filed it. Now you can execute it. We learned that we had triangle and integral. 
right see uh, what happened here we had a mistake we sorted this first string only we never sorted the second one right this is the problem of copy paste okay now compile it sort it triangle integral right it's an anagram want to verify with something else like listen silent clear or you want to verify with vcd ecva right or abc right are the anagrams quite simple okay fine so we learned how do we use c okay we also learned how do we use c plus plus now whichever you are comfortable you can use it right clear guys c plus plus looks much easier when compared to c because we don't require a separate comparison function to be written and then here we don't need to really be worried about what should be the size of the int string what are you going to give right okay again i can just compare with the help of relational operation okay too simple now let us try to look into python okay now let me just try to write the python code here first uh, i'll just write str1 equal to input to the first string and the same way str2 equal to in the second string so i'm going to read both the strings and once you read it how do we sort we just use sorted of str1 this is going to sort the first string and sorted of str2 is going to sort the second string and once i get the sorted i can just compare with the help of equal to right okay now i just want to print it as anagram if they are same right i'll just write print anagram if right what to be printed if it is true so we write the true statement here followed by if followed by condition okay just write else what to be printed if it is false not anagram well let me run this to run this i just need to use python 3 followed by the file name and okay give the input listen clear want to work with abcd eba right so then they so they are not same right okay clear guys which one do you think is easiest here we have the code for c++ which was easier than c and here we have a python code which is much easier than c++